Harrison, and I'm the creator of the Jane Rizzoli and Maura Isles series of novels. The Silent Girl opens up with a murder in Boston's Chinatown. And there's one particular clue that uh, everybody's baffled by. There are these strange hairs uh, that are left on the clothing, and the hairs turn out to be monkey hairs. So uh, what is a monkey doing at a crime scene, and what does it really have to do with the, uh, the murder? Uh, and Jane begins to realize, little by little, in the course of the book, that the key to understanding what's going on is an ancient Chinese legend of a character known as the Monkey King. And she has to understand this legend and track down what it means before she can find the killer. I think what's going to surprise people the most is what happens to Barry Frost. Now, Barry Frost, uh, in this particular book, is at romantic uh, loose ends. His wife has left him, and he is sad, and he's looking for, for romance, and he finds it in, in the most unusual place, in the, in the Silent Girl. I am working on the 10th novel in the Jane Rizzoli and Maura Isle series. I don't have a title for it yet, um, but it, it picks up where the Silent Girl leaves off. Um, it, it's amazing to me to think that this has been going on for 10 books, and Jane was created uh, over a decade ago. Uh, this, this funny little character who walked on stage and refused to leave, uh, and she's been, she's been a part of my life for, for all that time.